Hello, I'm Hannah, and this is Hannah's Books. Today, for Sunday Sentences, I bring you words from Toni Morrison's nonfiction essays, from essays prepared for her presentation of the Norton Lectures at Harvard in the fall of 2016. At this moment when we are talking about the dangers of others, about restricting immigration, about building fences and walls to keep people out, Morrison laments, why should we want to know a stranger when it's easier to estrange another? Why should we want to close the distance when we can close the gap? In another sentence, she writes, in much American literature, when plot requires a family crisis, nothing is more disgusting than mutual sexual congress between the races. It's the mutual aspect of these encounters that's rendered shocking, illegal, and repulsive. Unlike the rape of slaves, human choice, or God forbid, love, requires wholesale condemnation. Although the rhetoric of miscegenation is especially intense, our cultures also reject love across ethnic and regional lines, across religious lines, and even across class lines. Marson doesn't talk about it here, but LGBTQ relationships of human choice and love also receive wholesale condemnation. But Morrison ends by giving us some answers, some hope, a hope which will come at least partly through books. The resources available to us for benign access to each other, for vaulting the mere blue air that separates us, are few but powerful language, image, and experience which may involve both one or neither if the first two. Language, saying, listening, reading, can encourage, even mandate, surrender, the breach of distances among us, whether they are continental or on the same pillow, whether they are distances of culture or the distinctions and indistinctions of age and gender, whether they are the consequences of social invention or biology. Thanks for joining me today on Hannah's Books. See you soon.